So we're, here we are at the museum at Utah Beach, and we're walking in. I'll take you around, show you what the museum looks like. This video is talking about the French Resistance and how people were killed if you were caught a part of the French Resistance. You really are taking your lives into your own hand. And this is some of the things that fake documents, fake papers, they help you get travel passes. All of these things are part of the French Resistance. So this talks a little bit about the French press is now under the occupant's control, under German control, but still the French press would try to sneak in a lot of information into the press so people could read whereabouts, locations, dates, things along that nature. And what's interesting about that is because of the water in New Orleans being shallow, these boats were also made for shallow water. And Higgins boats are very infamous. You see what they look like coming up to shore. They can be loaded with lots of men. The front drops down, the men can come out, but they're made for shallow water. And every D-Day memorial usually depicts a Higgins boat very easily driven, and then the men are loaded in. The 8th will be sending up a max effort with three air task forces, totaling 376 heavy bombers and 240 fighters. That's the largest air armada ever assembled in the history of mankind. Yeah. We will be in the first task force targeting the Messerschmitt 109 engine assembly plant in Regensburg. Second and third task forces will hit the ball bearing factories in Schweinfurt. And no war machine moves without ball bearings. If we succeed, we knock German production offline for months. There's no telling how many lives we could save. Martin B-26, more than 5,000 of these high-performance twin-engine bombers were produced during World War II. It's beautiful in this hangar. So talk about invasion striping. This is invasion striping when it's white and black. Every aircraft that in, was part of the invasion would paint their wings and their underside white and black and that helped the Allies to identify the aircraft not to shoot down. So it helped you during the day at least to identify aircraft that were part of the invasion on the Allied side. So you'll see this, the striping was only used for the invasion. You see the turret gunner on the top up there? It's pretty cool. You got a tail turret back here. Pretty cool. 
Plains. Gotta love, gotta love the Plains, right? Everyone cares about the Plains.